This is Black Sandal and today I'm gonna show to you kung paano niya lalagay ang brilliante sa sarili niyong video. First things first, uh, this is not an in-depth tutorial because I'm not really that good in teaching. But uh, I'm gonna show you the basics. So, uh, okay, for starters, we need this application, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC or Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 or any version of that application. So let's open this application. As you can see, uh, blanco. So wala tayong makikita. So first, uh, we we need to click uh, file, then click new, then project. Okay. So uh, we are going to name this project. Uh, it depends kung anong gusto niyong pangalan sa project niyo. Uh, as for me, I'm gonna name it Brilliante ng hangin. Okay. Then, uh, we're gonna choose kung saan natin ito isi-save. Uh, you can browse. As for me, I, I make sure that all my projects were saved in the same place. Okay. So, there you have it start with this project we need to make a sequence in a project uh, we can have as many sequences as we want so um, sequence is a collection of the clips na pinagtatagpi-tagpi natin so to start with uh, we need to create a new sequence so click file click new and click sequence okay so we need to uh, select a we need to select a preset of the sequence kung gano'n siya kalaki kung ano yung dimensions ng sequence it's not really necessary it's, uh, it depends kung anong gusto nyo as for me I always use a 720p or 1080p which are standard sizes for a YouTube video okay we're gonna name the uh, sequence uh, yeah. Click OK. There we have it. Uh, our first sequence. So, as you can see, uh, there are panels in this application. So, bottom, so bottom left, uh, you can see uh, the panel where you can put the files used for the project. So on the right side of this panel is the timeline where you can kung saan nyo pinagtatahitahi yung mga clips na ginagamit natin for project. So, itaas naman ang panel na to, ng itong timeline, is the preview. Kung saan natin nakikita yung preview mismo nung pinagtatagpi-tagpi nating clips. So, there you have it. Uh, so, next is we have to uh, import. Uh, we, uh, for us to be able to import, uh, we can double-click the uh, panel where you can put the video or we can click control I or we can drag and drop from our file explorer punta dito sa panel na to. so we're gonna put the file so first uh, first file that we're gonna put in this panel is a video from a YouTube channel ng GMA network oh, it's no secret that it's from GMA network so uh, this is this is brilliante ng hangin so um, of course uh, kailangan natin tanggalin yung background para makita natin yung, so we can have this illusion na yung brilliante ay hawak mo sa sarili mong video so uh, for us to do that we need to uh, put the video Uh, I, I can't really explain to you what I'm clicking or doing, so please uh, pay attention to where I click. So what we're gonna do is drag the video right here into the timeline. So we can edit it. Um, drag it here. Then, uh, as you can see, uh, you can actually stack a video right upon another video. So. 
that that's how it's done. Okay, uh, so are we gonna put the effect panel? Find the effect panel so we can manipulate the effects of the clip. Okay, so um, ito. Well, we we we're we're going to find the uh, opacity opacity uh, settings. So from there, you can see this uh, pen tool. This pen tool, uh, you can make a path. So we could make this masking. Saan natin matatanggal yung background ng brilliante ng hangin. So click this. Then next, uh, click the uh, video. Saan natin nalagay yung masking. So you can actually uh, toggle the uh, zoom size so para mas pino yung pagkakalagay natin ng masking so okay we're just going to make sure na pino yung pagkakalagay natin ng path natin sa palibot ng brilliante so hindi siya maduming tingnan once na natanggalan natin yung background okay Actually, this is uh, actually napaka napaka trabaho so nitong actually napaka trabaho so nitong gawin so we really need a, a lot of uh, a lot of patience and dedication in editing videos such as this. This requires creativity and a lot of patience. So. And as for me, I don't have, I don't really have that patience in doing an in-depth tutorial nor watching an in-depth tutorial. So I make this uh, very basic. I'm not really sure if this this is basic enough, but you know. Okay. There you have it. Uh, okay. So the entire background was erased, but. As you can see, uh, this is just the first frame of the video. So, kailangan natin ng every frame ng video is kailangan natin tanggalan ng background. So, at first, uh, I really did this. Uh, I made the masking every frame. So, this is a lot of work. So, para ko nang inuuto yung sarili ko. But, later on, uh, kit, parang na-discover ko din na uh, pwede pala siyang uh, I morph or I warp yung I really can't find the uh, right Tagalog I really can't find the right Tagalog uh, translation for morph or warp but you know uh, just watch <laughs> okay so we're gonna do this every single frame but it depends so there's this uh, actually sumusunod lang naman talaga siya kung saan uh, very fluid yung pagkakasunod niya kasusunod na keyframe so you can have it um, like you can skip 4 keyframes or 5 keyframes uh, it depends as you, can, as you notice uh, I'm not really that good um, hindi talaga ako ganun kagaling managalog uh, I'm a Visayan so I'm a Visaya so please bear with me Okay, so um, here it is. So I guess we've done this. We've got our, we've got this spinning gem without the background. So this is literally a uh, floating. It's like uh, we have this illusion that it's floating right out of the video. Yes. Uh, so next is we're gonna. This is when this is the part we're going to uh, import yung sarili yung video as if you were holding the uh, brillante. So um, here's a clip. So we're gonna drag it down here, just right under the uh, video yung brillante. Yay! So there it is. Uh, yung video nyo kasama yung brillante. So, what we're gonna do next is 
lalagyan natin siya nung parang umiikot na parang pattern uh, uh, somewhat like an orb so um, I really don't know uh, it is not really the exact design but uh, but it it's pretty close it's pretty close so I'm reminding you to pay close attention to this video because ako hindi talaga ako ganun ka galing mag explain so yes not every click I can say to you kung saan talaga ako nakiklik so pay close attention play uh, so pay close attention sa cursor okay so what I'll do next is to edit and give it a motion para siya umiikot so what we're gonna do is hit the uh, the setting then there's the rotation so in Adobe Premiere or in any video editing application uh, we're gonna use keyframes keyframes is yung parang well it's well I really can't explain what a keyframe is but okay noting that this clip uh, noting that this image is right under the uh, clip of the brillante so giving it like it is behind the gem so yeah no I, I really I I wish I could discuss further but you know I don't have the uh, like sort of time so I guess uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave you with the uh, project uh, project files just right in the description if you really want to learn Adobe After Effects uh, you can check out videocopilot.com uh, there uh, there are a lot of uh, in-depth tutorials napaka comprehensive ng kanilang pagkakaturo doon so I guess that would help you a lot since I took subscribing to their tutorials okay before I forgot that there is this project that I made para sa inyo so from there uh, you could you know uh, play with Premiere Pro there are wala na siyang problema since the project files were already uh, there uh, so uh, I hope uh, makakatulong yung project file play along with it uh, you could replace the uh, video inside so you could make it your own that's all for today uh, this is Black Sando uh, signing off ciao